Hello, readers. Welcome to the book club. The month is November. What does it mean to be you? What does it mean to be human? New technology and inventions have always changed the landscape of the world. The wheel, the printing press, the compass, the light bulb, the telephone, the engine, the airplane, the battery, the internet. Imagine our world if any of these things did not exist. If the technology that allowed them to be was never discovered. They changed us. They changed the way we live our lives on a fundamental level. We are on the verge of another major change. We are in a new age, a genetic age, where our DNA is becoming as readable, writable, and hackable as information technology. And depending on what we do with it, it's going to change everything. The beginning of this time saw DNA identification in crimes, advances in fertility capabilities, discovering ancestry and unknown family members, personalized medicine based on DNA, all things that seem helpful, reasonable. But what's on the horizon? A world where we edit our children's personality, intelligence, and physical traits before they're born, where our lifespans double, where we create super soldiers, where we can cure any illness, where we are able to edit our own DNA at will? How could this change what life looks like? Will entrance exams and insurance applications include genetic testing? Will synthetic wombs be the normal way? What will the Olympics look like if the winners are determined by whoever's parents best tailored them to be an athlete? What will ethnic heritage start to mean when anyone can edit their physical appearance at the genetic level? What will the world look like if generation after generation we are able to increase our intelligence, lifespans, physical ability, beauty, or at least those with the resources can? Will we start to have separate species of humans? And how will all these genetic changes be passed down this month, we are reading Hacking Darwin by Jamie Metzl. Jamie Metzl asks us to do two things. One, be aware of what we're becoming capable of in this new frontier, this genetic age, this brave new world. And two, decide what our vision for the future of humanity is. Find the time to feed your mind. Glad to have you here, reader.